Hello, movie fans. We're back. We're here to uh, talk about the uh, recently released on uh, streaming uh, on uh, Amazon Prime, the new movie, uh, Just Mercy. Um, Just Mercy is a uh, drama based on a true story uh, set in the 1980s. I'm sorry, Michael B. Jordan, Jamie Foxx, and uh, Brie Larson. Um, <clears throat> and it, again, based on a true story, essentially a, uh, a uh, young lawyer uh, gone to, goes to um, Alabama to defend a uh, someone who's on death row, which is Jamie Foxx, um, and uh, discovers that uh, the person was wrongly uh, convicted, and you kind of go through the story of figuring out how that happened, and then trying to exonerate him uh, over several years. Um, it's a timely movie, that's why I think it was released on Amazon Prime now. Again, it came out in 2019, but they wanted to do it uh, during this time of um, protests and um, you know, people trying to fight for justice and, and equal, equal rights and equality, um, and so we decided we would... Uh, take a couple hours to watch it so your thoughts on um you know anybody's thoughts on this movie again it's a true story so yeah Rachel? They, well, they didn't wear classic 80s clothes so that's disappointing at first like oh they didn't wear like the like stereotypical 80s clothes they were 80s clothes it just was like people dressed up yeah and, i know and nice. it wouldn't make yeah. sense but like brie larson yeah. could have been like like cool Chrome hat or something. Right. But since it was based on the true stuff. story... They just, <laughs> I mean, who's to those. say that, that they she didn't. didn't wear, like, and then, like, funky jazz pants or something? True. I don't know. True. Okay. I actually noticed a couple times the jeans she was wearing. Did I, I, yeah, yeah, there were 80s times. jeans. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. I would say, like, the first scene that she so shows up in is, like, a very, very 80s outfit. And it's very noticeable. Right. So... The, did again it's based on a true story again i think it's very timely i thought it was well acted i thought uh again uh, all the, the main characters did a good job um it was a, again i think what i read was that it was largely true that you know the stuff that was based on a book that was written by the brian stevenson who is the lawyer in in the uh you know in the movie and in real life and he wrote a book about it and i think they said basically everything that he said happened. It was in that movie. Um, they condensed it a little bit, but otherwise it pretty much happened, which is, again, very sad and disturbing. Yeah, what part wasn't true? No, I think it was mostly true. I, I, I don't know. what There was nothing specific that they said wasn't true. I think the timeline was condensed, and the a couple things that they said, like the uh, Brie Larson's character did, somebody else did but for the time you know just to make it easier the story they didn't bring like four other characters in there was other lawyers involved and in some of the you know the discussions and things like that and and so they didn't bring all of those people in uh to the story but they just kind of kept it with a few main characters but otherwise it was again him being pulled over you know the discrimination everything with the trial related to the trial that was wrong it was all true things that happened I thought it was really well acted and really well done. I was actually surprised that it was set that it took place in the late eighties, <laughs> yeah. because knowing just the the subject matter, you would expect it to be like in the sixties or something. Mm -hmm. But um, I thought it was later. Eighties. Um, yeah. It you know it made you think. It made you angry. It was um, you know thought provoking, and I. I think it accomplished what it set out to, just to, to, to make you think. <laughs> All right. And to point out that there are definitely cases and uh, unfortunately uh, in racial injustice in cases where, you know, it's simply because you're you know a black man in this case, they accuse you and they're going to find a way to convict you, especially when it was in the deep South in the, the eighties and probably still happening today, unfortunately. Yeah. Part of it is like, that can't really have happened. They can't have just like ignored all of these things and just gone on nothing. But then, yeah, you, you totally can believe that it could happen and right. does happen. Unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, would you, 
did you guys did you guys like the movie? I guess is the question. Did you, it's a tough subject and tough subject matter, but did you mm. like the movie? And, yeah, I I'd, I'd say it was it was you know pretty good. It felt a, a tad bit long. Just like in some places, they just kind of stretch it out, and there's information the audience is mostly getting, but they're just kind of hammering the point across, which I guess is good because it makes it less convoluted. Um, you know, going into this movie, not really, you know, but kind of just had to watch it. it. Ended up being pretty good. Uh, acting was really good. Um, I got kind of confused on who the people were in the beginning because they jump around a little bit. But yeah, overall it was uh, pretty good. Yeah, they whatever. No, they do. Um, yeah. what? They do jump around what? a little bit. I get it. That's why. No, I get it. I just don't want to let you. I like the acting in it. Yeah. Because mm. they all seem like real people. Like they were believable and everything. And the story writing, it just seems so realistic. Almost like it could have actually happened. You guys are. Um. I thought it was well acted and well done. It's not a movie that you enjoy watching. I, I enjoyed it. Like, if they put know, in I thought 80s it was music. good what it was. But again, I you know, I, I like happy movies, you know, and I think it's not a it's not a feel good movie. You know, you know like if you're yeah, looking for a fun I mean. movie to watch on a weekend, just don't it's just call just save it for a rainy, like, save it for a rainy day just when you're home and you're like, I got nothing to watch because it's not something you really go into like. I think it's wanting to watch it. It's definitely worth watching. It's yeah, yeah. it's worth watching. I, I don't it's, know that it's similar. Good to say, did you enjoy yeah, watching? Similar subject matter to, yeah. to be again different kind of movie, but similar idea as to like Schindler's List. You go in to watch it because it's an important movie to watch and it's well done. You don't go in for an enjoyable, fun time that's going to be a you know, eat pop you know popcorn and and candy. Because this is a fun thing to watch and you'll have an enjoy ride. That's not what this is. Okay. It's about a serious subject and about serious information that makes you think. It's called Just Mercy. It does not sound like a fun movie. No, and we didn't I watch it. Ha- we didn't watch it that make fun. Because yeah. I was trying to determine whether it was like Just Mercy, like you know, just Just Mercy, or if it was like Just Mercy is in Justice for Mercy. If it was Mercy, and I'm still it not was, certain. It was meant to be both. Yeah, I that's think the thing. It it's meant to mean both of those things. What did you think, Tom? Uh, I thought it was really good. It was clearly, you know, very believable, and because it did actually happen, and it was very, it was very well acted. Because you know, of course, when you get Jamie Foxx and Michael B. Jordan in the same scene together, it's going to be a very well acted scene. And there are certain scenes in the movie that just sort of really stick with you, like certain scenes where they're depicting, like what the inmates on death row have to go through and like especially when you're wrongly convicted and stuff and sort of what they're going through and how really like brutal that kind of is like not brutal like really physically although there is definitely physical violence in the movie uh but sort of like the emotional brutality of you know sort of just being a, a black person in america um and also just you know if you are wrongly convicted then you just sort of sit there and you have nothing that you can do. And especially if it's because of your race, then you're just sort of overlooked, I guess. More so than if you were a white man, then they would listen to you and believe you more. And just the way that the main character was, you know, convicted and he was just stuck there for years and he couldn't do anything. And you're just sort of exploring that and how difficult it is to get out of that situation when there was no reason for you to even be in that situation in the first place. No. Um, I have another question. Did you mean just as in, like, fair? Was that one of your definitions? Yeah, it was either okay. just and fair or, like, just as, like, plainly. I don't think that plainly was probably oh. what they were going for. It's just mercy. You know, right. It's called mercy. Yes. I mean, mercy. Well, everybody deserves well, plainly mercy. mercy just yeah, like... everybody deserves mercy, I guess. Just give provide mercy. I think it could be part of the way you could read it, too. Um, I would just say that, again, this is a serious film, serious subjects. They have, um, again, death row inmates that you know, they go through what happens and they talk about and they, you know, to a certain degree depict what happens when somebody is going to, you know, be killed um, and executed uh, because they're on death row, which is very serious. So I think it's, again, what a movie to 
determine whether or not your family should watch it and if you want to watch it and how old your kids are and how they can handle those subjects in a serious subject like this um and i would say not really for younger people it would probably young kids would be you know it'd be lost on them it'd be lost on them and it'd be too much probably um yeah there's a lot of serious things that are talked about there's some swearing in it but and i would i would death. say yeah there's some there's <laughs> violence and death and you know again not kind of graphic violence or anything like that but there's yeah. there is some and then um uh, and then the swearing again kind of is minor swearing at certain points but uh but it may that may not be something that again you want to expose your children to um but i think it's worth it if you really want to expose them to a movie that's based on truth about you know racial inequalities and what this one case demonstrates and can um highlight um what other people are talking about right now so what would you, what rating would you give this movie out of five? Four and a half. I'd probably give it a four and a half. I mean, four, four and a half. Again, it does. It is a little slow at times, and so it's not like the. Yeah, it. I think four, four probably. Um, I'm gonna give it three point nine five. Okay. Yeah, I put it at like four and a quarter because it was like it was interesting, and it was cool that it was based off of a true story. But it, yeah, it was just a little slow at points, and I found myself just like, oh, well, you're still. It, it felt a little long to me for being two hours. I don't know what else to give it other than a five, because I feel like there weren't really any like glaring problems with the movie. I mean, like like as a film, there weren't really any glaring problems, and it was a lot of the stuff was you know really well done on everybody's part in the movie and I do agree it was kind of long but it was long because it had to be long like in movies that are based on a true story it's really difficult to cut down on time without missing out on very important information like you can't just write it differently to make it flow better you have to I mean you can't to a certain extent but you have to sort of do you have to go with the actual story and cut out on minor things but you need to make it still work and I think the movie did that really well and uh, yeah, I give it five stars. So I think we, you know, would recommend again not not as a fun movie, but as a movie that your family might want to see. Um, you might want to figure out if this is a good movie to talk about to use as a uh, entryway into talking about you know what's going on in the world right now. Um, well, we just want to share our thoughts with you about this movie. If you uh, like our movie reviews, want to see more, please hit like and subscribe. We're glad you took your time to join us. Now it's time for Ryan's. Bad joke. Okay. Of the day. <laughs> of the year. <laughs> Ryan, this isn't even the best bad joke. Fine, Ryan's bad joke of the day. Seen about going on a diet. But I have a lot on my plate. That's you all. say it like that. We're done. <laughs> like, We're done. What Bye. else am I supposed to say? It's a bad joke.